Hey there everybody, my name is Merrick here with Bartlett Arbor Supply. Today I'm going to go over our basic climbing kit, everything we have in it, how to set it up, and how to climb with it. So first, when you order the saddle, you're going to get a Weaver 1010 4D saddle. Life rated, very good saddle for the money you're paying for it. Next, you're going to get a 12-strand Arborplex climbing rope. Arborplex was actually the first rope that was made specifically for arborists. Next to this, this kit, you will get a 12-ounce Weaver throw bag and 100 foot of slick line throw line. And to store the slick line, you will get a Weaver small ditty bag. For a lanyard, you will get our seven foot adjustable double snap lanyard system and you will also receive another snap on its own. I'll show you how that's used in a couple minutes. To set up your throw weight on your throw line, I'm going to show you guys how to tie it on using a knot called a slippery eight. You're going to take your end, run it through the top of your throw weight, pull a little bit of slack through. You're going to hold the two ends tight together, twist your throw weight three times, two and three. And then you're gonna take your slack from the top. You're gonna to create a bend, pass it back through this opening down here and pull your throw line tight. Now when pulling your throw line tight, you are now secure on there. When you are ready to take your throw line off of the throw bag, you pull this little end right here, everything will come right off. First things first, we're gonna to have to place our throw ball and throw line through an isolated union to place our rope. So now that we have our, our isolated union using our throw bag, we're going to remove our throw bag from our throw line by pulling that end, pulling our throw ball off, placing that somewhere so we don't lose it for later. Now to tie on your rope, you're gonna take this end in your left hand, the string in the other. You're going to make a bend or loop, quite big. Place your climb line through it. Give it a little bit of slack. You're going to bend underneath, bring it up and through this loop, and then you're going to tighten down, essentially a girth hitch on your climb line. Now to make a couple half hitches, I place my fingers here, put it around the climb line, and that is to keep your climb line straight as you're going through these natural unions. You're gonna create some tight angles, you're gonna have some debris in your way, Keeping these half hitches on your line is going to keep it straight in one piece and stop it from bunching up. So now that we have that set, we're going to test it, give it some strength to make sure it won't slip out. Now we come to the other end of our throw line. We're going to pull it back through slowly, making sure we still have our isolated union, get it over the top, and pull the climbing line down to us. So now that we have our climb line on our isolated union, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a closed system. A closed system is a very simple and easy way to set up a climbing system without using any carabiners, no hitch cords, and no pulleys. We are just using this climb line. Now the reason for including this snap hook in this kit is so that you can easily unattach the system from yourself without having to untie every time you walk away from the tree, get a water break. This makes it so when you come down, you can easily unhook, you can step away, you don't have to go through all of that hassle. So first you're gonna take the end of your rope, pass it through this eye of your snap hook. You're going to hold your progress with your left hand, pull your right arm, you want to pull two arm lengths completely through the eye. So you do one, and then you do a second one. That is how much length you will need to complete the closed system. So now that I'm holding my progress with my left hand, I will drop this end, and I will start a Yosemite Bowling by creating a loop here, taking the end of my rope back up and through the hole, around this leg, and back into the hole. Now we have lots of slack here, so we wanna make sure as we're doing each piece, we're keeping track of it, pulling everything tight, 
making sure it's all the size that it should be. So after I pull this all through, I will tighten it around this leg and I now have a bowline, a standard bowline on my hook. To create a Yosemite bowline, you will take this leg, bring it back around this piece here, up the back of the knot and through this eye, you'll pass it right along this leg of rope, pulling all of your slack back through, leaving it to look like this. The reason for your Yosemite bowling is much harder for it to come undone on its own. It stays cinched and it stays right there. It will not move up and down your rope. Next, we call an identifier knot. We will use a figure eight. Standard spacing, you use a fist and a thumb length, right where my thumb ends. I will make an eye a little bit past it, make a loop. I will take the end of my rope, wrap it around one time, pass it back through. That giving me a figure eight knot. So now that I have tied my identifier figure eight, I will grab the opposite end of rope with my right hand, taking the other end with my left, placing two loose loops over top of my thumb. And after I do two loose loops, I'll do two tight loops on the rope. Now, after I get the two tight ones in, I will bring it around the back, over the top of the bridge, and then back around the base of this rope. With this loose gap, I will slip it through these two. Cinch it tight. I will tie what we call a terminating knot, another figure eight. This is so that as much as you're moving around up in the tree, your rope's working, if any of your slack will tend through here, it'll stop with this terminating knot. You will not have to worry about it slipping through your knot. Pull it tight, and now I will test my weight. I will sit back, make sure that everything in my system is good, and I'm good to start climbing. So now that we are up in the tree, I'm gonna show you guys one of the most crucial parts of your climbing system. A good industry standard is every time you make a cut, a prune, or rig anything out, you should always use your positioning lanyard. When being double tied in, you will have your positioning lanyard and your climb system both attached to the tree in hard points. Points that if something were to go wrong, both will hold you up and are life rated. One of the most used reasons for work positioning lanyard is for work positioning. When leaning out, it'll keep me upright. I can move it further away from the limb if I'm leaning out. If I have to get closer, I can position it now so it holds me tight to it. As I'm leaning, if I'm throwing stuff out, if I'm pulling up my rig line, it helps keep me where I'm at. If I let weight in this, I'm now not as much in my rope. It helps me move all around the tree. Work positioning is a very crucial part of working in a tree because it adds to the safety value of not work, overworking your body, straining too many muscles, whichever way you're moving, how much ever you're doing, and it'll keep everything upright in a safe area that when you are cutting, nothing is in the way of getting hit. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to visit us at BartleMan.com. Check out this kit and many other climbing and rigging kits just like it. If you want more of our content, don't be afraid to like and follow. See you guys later.